Hello， 嘿弟，去了。Hello， 马 ，Hello， 马丘。Hello， brother Safe， how are you？ We are fine. How are you doing？ Doing wonderful. It's nice to see you guys today. Oh my goodness. So, what did you guys do for this、um, for this Saturday？ <laughs> We are waiting for the lesson. Of course, right? Ah.、Uh, Let's see. It looks like we have some new gentlemen in today. Ibrahim, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Where are you from, sir? We、mm, cannot seem to hear you, Ibrahim. But it's okay. Teacher, I have a question. What? What's up? What's that written on the wall behind you? Ah, it's a、uh, jet. It's a Japanese mural,、uh, which I'll explain in just a minute because it's actually part of our topic.、Uh, Oscar,、uh -huh. there seems to be some static on the back of your、uh, microphone. Could you turn it down a little bit? Thank you. Okay, Coco is back, and so is Brenda. I think we can go ahead and begin. First off, I want to welcome everybody to uh, my uh, weekend teaching schedule here at Verbling. Where I am crazy and teach four straight classes. Woo! Okay.、Uh, in case you didn't know, we have a large addition of traffic to our website li、uh, lately. This is due to the fact that we have.、Um, uh, if you notice in the bar, I've put a、uh, website link. It's because there was recently today a magazine article written about、uh, verbling in TechCrunch. And you can even see Teacher April is actually the cover picture, so、uh, we're very excited and happy for her. And for those of you who are new to Verbling,、uh, that this is your first time because you saw the new article,、uh, welcome! It's wonderful to see you. And let's get started. So we've got our we've got our familiar faces today. Let's go ahead and begin. This geography class is not going to be about economics like the last one. Instead, it's going to be about I would say the geography of the soul or the spirit. We're going to be talking about、uh, world faiths and religions.、Um, This will not be a debate class, actually. Even though、uh, I, it is always fun and tempting to argue about different faiths, rather I think、uh, this will be an opportunity for us to share our beliefs or the beliefs of our cultures and learn more about them. To, okay. So to, I am hearing a little background noise. If we could go ahead and mute our microphones, if there's noise in the background, and as a reminder for those individuals who are new,、uh, please keep in mind that we do have many people who are English language learners. So let's be sure to be respectful of the learning process. Cool, cool. This、uh, one. So, Meadow, sorry, 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 Meadow. What's that? Can I can I ask question? Yes, you may.、Uh, where are you from? Nice、Very、case. good. Very good.、Uh, I'll go ahead and begin with introductions.、Uh, my name, for those of you who haven't met me before, is Matthew. I'm originally from the United States,、uh, particularly from the state of Texas, and、uh, it's wonderful to have you here. I'm very, I'm looking forward to teaching this class. But I do ask that if you do have any background noise, let's turn it off. Thank you very much.、Uh, Matthew,、uh, one more time. One more、uh, question. Yes, quickly.、Um, you're watching Breaking Bad. Are you watch? A、uh, Breaking Bad?、Uh, I've watched it before, but that actually has little to do with today's topic. So let's stay with today's topic, okay? Okay. Thank you.、Uh, to answer Mahmoud's question earlier,、uh, he asked me about this、uh, picture behind me. This is actually a Japanese、uh, mural. Because in Japan, Japan,、uh, they practice the religion of Shintoism. It's like Shintoism. It's like spell. 
Kind of actually like a spell because Mahmood, what they're doing is it blesses my house. It's uh, basically saying bless this house and the people that are in it. I got this from my uh, ex-girlfriend actually. <laughs> so Whoa. maybe it's a bad spell. <laughs> maybe it's a curse. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Possibly. You're but it's so beautiful that, that I keep it in my home. You're a funny man. Right? Do you know? You're a funny man. I like to think so. So, uh, what what we're going to do for today's introductions? We're going to begin from right to left. We're, I want everybody to introduce themselves, the country they're from, and uh, to explain maybe your personal faith or religion. And if you don't have one, that's okay. Uh, for myself, I will uh, do my introduction. For those of you who don't know me in the Verbling chat, it's wonderful to see everybody. Uh, for those actually in our video chat, it's great to see you. My name is Matthew. I am a Verbling teacher here on the website. And uh, my I'm originally from the United States in the state of Texas. I'm a school teacher by trade, and my faith is I'm a Christian. I'm a Protestant Christian. Um, in the United States, of course, we have many different uh, religions, and uh, so I, even though I'm Christian, I've also prayed as a Buddhist, and I've also prayed in, in, several times in a mosque. So I'm interested to learn the different faiths of everybody in our class. Let's begin with the far right, Lucas Nowicki. It's wonderful to see you, sir. How are you? Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Wonderful. So what country are you from, Louis? I'm from I'm from Poland. It's Lucas. Ah, Lucas. Yes, oh, that's right. It reminds me of one of my classmates from Poland. His name was Camille, and I kept pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> yeah, you pronounce it perfect. Yeah, oh, it's, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, so, Lucas, what is your personal faith, if you don't mind sharing? Um, I'm Catholic. Catholic, and I believe Poland is a predominantly Catholic country. Yes. Yes, you're right. Wonderful. We're, we're definitely happy to have you representing Eastern Europe with us today. Thank uh, you. Mr. Oskar, how are you, sir? Uh, thank you. Uh, my, uh, my name is Oskar. I am from Turkey. I'm a teacher. Uh, and what you're going to ask next is, is I think, my well, religion, right? Sure, if you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, in fact, I don't want to express it, but uh, generally, people living in Turkey are uh, Muslim. Oh, yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. yes, I believe you're correct. Um, Turkey is uh, predominantly Muslim. However, its uh, constitution or its laws are secular. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. Yes, that's right. I, be I believe so. Um, the what we're saying is uh, secular means not religious so just like the United States Turkey's government is uh, officially non-religious mm -hmm. uh, uh, we can't so say not religious I, but uh, if you don't mind I want to express what secularism means of course uh, it, it is a kind of division between religion and uh, the governmental uh, governmental processes, I mean, ruling, because people have faith uh, for themselves, uh, for themselves, and in their heart. And a government cannot have a religion. We can talk about a country. Uh, I mean, governments, let's say generally, uh, cannot have a basic religion. Mm -hmm. In English, we use the phrase separation of church and state. This yeah. means that the society or the country can have many different religions, but the government sure. does not adopt a religion. Is that correct? Uh, the government, government should act equally for yes. all religions, for all beliefs. Yes. yes, I think this is a, a very common situation in, um, many mo in many contemporary countries now. So, uh, uh, but it's wonderful to have you, Oscar, especially from one teacher to another. Uh, what subject do you teach normally? Can you guess? Uh, I would say social studies. No. Uh, in fact, I'm an English teacher. Oh, this is perfect. I'm but, so happy. But, but, but I may make a lot of mistakes, uh, mistakes during conversation. Please forgive my mistakes. Uh, I, I think in English it is a living language, so there's 
there's no such thing as a mistake in this in this tongue. But we are so happy to have you here. Thank uh, you. No problem, Yasin. It's wonderful to see you, sir. I would like you to share with everybody your background, and if you don't mind, if not your personal faith, the predominant faith of your country. Well, I'm Yasin Safiya. I'm from Damascus, Syria. I'm a Muslim, Sunni, mm -hmm. and my ex-girlfriend is a Christian. All right. <laughs> Catholic. Christian. Are you drinking tea, sir? I'm drinking Just a fruit punch. Bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, Yasin. Uh, and let's go to Mahmoud Safia. Mahmoud. I'm Mahmoud Safia. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Muslim too. I'm from Syria, Damascus. Very wonderful. It's wo it's wonderful to have you again, sir. Uh, Karim. Karim Uderba, are you there? Hello, yes. how are you, sir? Are you? I'm here. I'm fine, how are you? Oh, wonderful. You hear We're me? doing wonderful. Yes. Can, do you mind you introducing me, yourself? Yes, I can hear I'm you. I'm Karim, I'm from Algeria. I'm from Algeria, from the capital, Algiers. I'm a student, and, I, and sometimes I work at the car center. Okay. Wonderful. And uh, Algeria is predominantly a uh, Sunni Muslim, am I correct? Sunni Muslim, yes. And uh, the, the, in the constitution, mm -hmm. we have it, it, the country, it's a Muslim, Muslim country. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Muslim see, thank country. you so much for explaining. And, and uh, Jorge, okay. it's wonderful to see you again, sir. How are you? Good, teacher. Good. Hi. Excellent. Hi, everyone. So, do you mind uh, introducing yourself and maybe the dominant religion of your country? Okay. Uh, well, my name is Jorge. Uh, I don't know. I live in Caracas, Venezuela. Um, the religion here in this country is Catholic. Uh, for uh, I don't know the eighty percent of the people is Catholic, Catholic, and the other is I don't know um, Muslim. But the main, the main, the main culture, the main religion, uh, sorry, is Catholic. All right, wonderful. <coughs> We're happy to see you here. I think we have many representatives from the Middle East and Eastern Europe and Latin America with us today. And yeah. uh, Hussein, are you there, sir? Yeah. Uh, where, are you, where are you from, Hussein? Uh, I'm from in Turkey. Uh, <laughs> and uh, my religion uh, is Islam. Uh, and Turkey's government is uh, secular. Okay? Secular. Yeah, <clears throat> that's good. I think that's a good vocabulary word for today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I would like to also ask Elif, are you there? Have I pronounced your name correctly? Yes, that's it. Wonderful. Where are you from, man? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Turkey as well. We have a large Turkish delegation today. Yeah. I'm very happy. We are so... We are so... Marhaba. Hi. <laughs> Mahmoud, I want you to control yourself today, sir. I can try. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Mahmoud Love is Justin Bieber. Do you know? <laughs> oh my goodness! I will give myself a fight of you. Again, Hussein. <laughs> Mahmoud Love is Justin Bieber. Jordan. I would kill myself, but I never love him. Yeah. Oh no. So now that we've talked about everybody's general faith, I think it's okay for us. We can actually discuss a little bit about uh, what our different backgrounds are. So we know that Turkey, for example, I think Turkey is a good place to start since we have many uh, Turkish students in class. We know that uh, Turkey was formerly the center of the, correct me if I'm wrong, the Ottoman Empire a long time ago, which was a... Uh, used to be dominated by, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, predominantly uh, Muslim government, yeah. but uh, can 
does anybody, would anybody like to share, maybe Oscar, would you like to share how did Turkey change from a uh, government system based in mu Muslim Sharia law to one, a modern secular government? Well, Are you there? I don't know. Oscar, Excuse are you there? Uh, is that question for me? I yes, sir. Understand. Okay, let me tell you. Uh, after the First World War, Turkey started uh, independence war against enemies because Turkey was occupied uh, by many different countries. And at the end of the war, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Turkey, mm -hmm. and uh, Atatürk means father of Turks. In fact, uh, let me tell you this first. And he started to, uh, I mean, his dream was to build a country, a modern country, a contemporary country. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why he tried to, uh, let's say, get some laws from European countries and try to establish a secular government system in Turkey. Uh, or, but we can say it only depends on the government system. The education system was uh, reformed uh, as well, many systems, because it was a new nation, it was, born, it was a new country, and uh, there were a lot of uh, problems in this country. Uh, I may have some problems with communicating today because I'm a little bit sleepy. Uh, forgive me for that, please. Oh, it's no problem at all. I think uh, you explained very well. And in that event, let's go ahead and move on over to uh, Hussein. Hussein, I want to ask you, the modern uh, Turkish government your, uh, is officially secular. Do you think that uh, this is a good thing or a bad thing for modern Turkey? Uh, this is a good thing uh, for to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is a one question, one, one answer. Turkey, uh, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk is the answer. Okay, okay. wonderful. Uh, uh, Mo, let's see, I noticed that we have several other people here. I'll be back in two minutes. No problem. I noticed that we actually have a couple of new members. It's wonderful to see you. Remember, as you come in, be sure to uh, allow us to introduce yourselves. Thank you very much. So we learned a little bit about Turkish history today. Uh, I will also explain that in uh, America we had a similar background. Uh, historically, America was colonized by uh, Christians known as the Puritans or also the Pilgrims. But uh, as we became an independent country, we adopted what is known as a secular government. So it, even though Americans tend to be religious, our government uh, is uh, neutral. It doesn't uh, favor any one religion over the other officially in its laws. Um, it doesn't favor Protestant Christianity over Catholic or uh, Buddhism over Hindu or anything of that nature, uh, which is actually very interesting. Okay, so I, th I, I think it's uh, for I think it's actually very interesting that uh, these countries that formally uh, use are very religious uh, still decide to adopt a government that is uh, not religious. I think so. Okay. Forgive me, uh, but I can, I can I ask questions. One more. Of course. Uh, do you love uh, United States history, America history? Do you love? Mm, I like all world history. <laughs> I don't like because I don't like. Oh, it's luck. But luckily, America's history is so small. Yeah. Yeah. But. I think uh, all of world history is important. And that's what we're here to talk to a lot about today, because we're here discussing actually about basically the soul of most of the planet. Um, so let's share a little bit about our different faiths. 
Uh, and again, today is not a debate or an argument. This is the very first religious uh, religion class on uh, verbling. So today we're not actually going to debate or argue which religion is best or why we think we disagree with one. Instead, we should take some time to explain our religions to one another and understand our cultures. Uh, since we have many, uh, since we have actually many uh, Muslim students, I would be very interested. Do we have any uh, of our Sunni Islam uh, students? Would they like to explain a little bit about their faith for the rest of us who maybe don't know? Well, uh, I would want to say, of course, we believe in our religion that there is only one God uh, that we believe. Is exist, and uh, we are. Uh, Mahmoud, explain this. Mahmoud, we connect with the God uh, um, without someone. So we don't have to talk to someone to communicate with the God. It's possible to talk. Ah, oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. ah. We connect directly to God. There is five prayers. A day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. There is no drinking alcohol in our religion. We believe in one God. Now, guys, do we know in English what we say if a religion believes in only one God? We say it is monotheistic. Monotheistic. That means just one God. Also, Matteo, we believe in Jesus. Mm, yes, I believe, if I'm correct, Sunni uh, Islam views Jesus as a uh, prophet, am I correct? Yes, he is a prophet, before Muhammad. Yes, I think, and that's a very interesting thing, because many uh, non-Muslims are not aware that Jesus is viewed such a way in, in, um, in your religion. I hear some background noise. If you have loud noise in the background, please turn it off so we can show respect to others. Let's go ahead and Quran, mute that. Quran mentioned uh, Jesus and his uh, and uh, his mother on Quran. Um, From uh, 1,000 and 400 years ago. We believe in Prophet, but uh, Jesus, not God of the Son. That's right, or not, not, uh, not, not divine. We would say the word divine, yeah. not divine. That means also, uh, God. Also, there is angel, of, angel of death, angel of life, not God of death, angel of life. In the last of the life, Jesus will uh, come down to the earth, and uh, peace will be uh, all over the world. Okay, I that, think that's just a very, I think this, this is actually very intriguing. It's going to lead to some interesting discussions. Let me introduce the new individuals we have here. I see uh, we have Miloud. Are you there, sir? Yes, je suis français, hein, juste pour info. I talk uh, French in French, okay? Wonderful. Uh, my parents come from Algeria, but I, I live in France, okay? Uh, I know no Muslim, I don't practice I don't practice Islam religion, okay? Oh. In holiday I go to Turkish country, okay? Mm -hmm. In European uh, district it's possible to drink beer, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Occident Occidental life, okay? Mm -hmm. But you in Turkish uh, Islam is a religion of state, okay? Mm -hmm. You must to produce practice Islam religion. Is, is Islam is the only way of life. Yeah, right on. This is good Kurdish. Yeah. And guys, let's be sure to respect one another and not interrupt each other. I know we have some individuals who are new to our uh, to our teaching style, but we do also allow for one individual to speak at a time. Let's be sure to pay attention because remember, in English, we're listening, not just. Speaking outwards, I do. We also have another person, Mr. Orange Blue. I like your uh, screen name. How are you do today, sir? What my name? Oh no, the gentleman next to you, Orange Blue. How are you, sir? Can you hear me? Hi. How are you? Where are you from? I'm in Turkey. In Turkey wow. as well, in Ankara or Istanbul or. Istanbul. We have a lot of. We have a lot of people. Wonderful. 
I think I'm so happy that we have so many Turkish students today. I think uh, maybe more than half of our class. I'm very excited about that. So we've learned a little bit about Sunni Islam. I would like, if it's possible, Lucas and Jorge as uh, representatives of our Catholic students. Uh, Lucas, would you like to go first and explain a little bit about the Catholic faith? Orange blue, sana diyor. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't speak English. Uh, slow. It's no problem. We will just listen. You can just listen. It's no problem. Jorge, would you mind explaining a little bit about the Catholic faith? Okay, well, the Catholic uh, faith is completely different to the, the Muslim, but uh, the people is uh, the believing in, in, in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, it's it's um it's, it's a good yeah. religion, but yeah. we I need know. to respect which each, each other. Um, I don't know. It, it, it it's uh, the people don't go to the church uh, like a, like a Muslim, but uh, I don't know. It's a good religion. I think so. I, yes, I definitely think so. Um, we have, uh, and I think most of Latin America and Eastern Europe is uh, Catholic, am I correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, I think so. And uh, in the United States, we also have some difference as well. <clears throat> now, uh, Rafael, how are you today, sir? Hi, Matthew. Uh, uh, I'm going to introduce me. Please, go ahead. And I'm I'm from Cancun, Mexico. All right. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. um, okay. The beach. Uh, Hola amigo. The beach. Hola amigo. Hola <laughs> amigo. Spring break, Hola. guys. <laughs> um, I think about uh, the re the religions in Mexico. Uh, is <coughs> is difficult to to speak uh, about topics. Uh, because uh, in in this moment in this moment uh, there is many many religions, right? Mm -hmm. uh, That's right. In Mexico, I think you're in Mexico, uh, uh, the people the people see the religion like a problem. Uh, right. Some some people, not not only people, uh, some hmm. people, because uh, so three week three week uh, ago. Uh, in, in in a little town in Mexico, uh, the education has uh, has Just a bit. has problem Just has problem a bit. Uh, because, <laughs> because the government uh, because the government uh, take yeah. problems in this in this uh, the, sorry the the religion take take problems in this town because because uh, the religions mm -hmm. broke the. The the laws, the laws, Le Why? the law or lay the lay, leyes laws, uh, laws mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know I don't know. Uh, yes, but the people say <laughs> <laughs> yes. Law I think I think, I think it's it's a problem. It's a problem in the religion. Uh, but uh, mm. independent, uh, I'm I'm follower of Jesus. But mm. I only think I only think that Jesus is a is a model model uh, that 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 I uh, I need to 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 do uh, or to I don't know mm -hmm. how to say yes uh, okay. this is the my opinion about the religion in this in this topic uh, Jesus is is the the mean, the mean uh, person. Oh. Yes, uh, and I think uh, in Mexico it has it's much more complicated than normal because you not only have Catholicism, but traditional Mexican uh, folklore as well, stemming from its history in the Aztec and Mayan cultures and the Olmecs as well. Um, somebody asked earlier, I think Jorge asked why the church is sometimes viewed 
negatively in Mexico. Uh, that actually, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Rafael, but that has to do with uh, some background in the Mexican Revolution where the churches were considered uh, a little corrupt. Am I correct? Yeah. Hold church in the wild. Yeah, hold church in the world. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Uh, that's what uh, I think the background for that is. In um, Venezuela, it's like a said, mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. Okay. I, I think in, in, in Venezuela, it's like a, like a say, Luis. In Mexico, most of the countries is Catholic and believe in Jesus and saying. Hmm. So. Here. Um, in um, in uh, the United States, of course, we have so many different faiths that um, in the background there are, uh, th there are, for example, many Catholics, but also many Protestants. For example, believe it or not, my sister is Catholic. I'm Protestant, but my sister is Catholic. We're two different okay. faiths. Yeah, yes, believe it or not. Here in Venezuela, here in Venezuela, we, we watch, uh, um, uh, can you repeat your religion, please? Um, uh, Protestants, right? Protestante. Mm -hmm. Protestant, right? In Venezuela, you can you can watch people uh, practice that religion too. Um, it's 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 normally. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it's perfect. Uh, it's very common uh, for uh, there to be diversity in many faces. Yeah. Actually, one one thing many people don't realize for our Turkish <laughs> friends uh, that there is actually. A background uh, in Mexico relax, where man. there is relax. uh listen be cool. Tear, be cool. Okay man, relax. Tear. Let's see, tear. Is, is there tear? Is there tear? <laughs> Gentlemen, tear. if you continue I... to be disruptive, I'm gonna have to remove you from the classroom. So let's go ahead and be respectful and speak one at a time. Okay? Thank you. Uh, as we were discussing, uh, I think uh, one thing many of our Turkish friends uh, should be interested in is actually in South Mexico, in Oaxaca, in Quintana Roo, there are many Muslims in the Shia and Sunni schools, which I think is very interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, what do you know about uh, Oaxaca, Macho? Ah, I know a lot about its background. Uh, in uh, I know a lot about its background in uh, uh, sort of its historical background with uh, the revolution and also with uh, also its recent history with uh, Subcomandante Marcos and the rebellion that's occurred there. Correct. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. I know think the history Christians of don't speak all, mm -hmm. the, They don't all speak English. Mm -hmm. Why? Yes. Guys, let's, let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, could, go, uh, could you repeat that, Mamu? Christians, uh, not all of them speak English, so we can find the Christians speaking German or Spanish. That's correct. Spanish or Italian or even uh, Asian languages like Korean. Yeah, but uh, actually, do you guys want to see something kind of cool? Uh, this is my Bible, for example. I brought it to show you. This is my particular Bible. And uh, if you look at the characters, do you think this is English? No, no, what? Why is that? But it's Korean. That's Korean. That's correct. This is the Korean Bible, because oh, okay. my third language is Korean. So actually, wow. even yeah, even in Asia, there are many Christians and also many Muslims as well in Asia, as we know. But did you live in Korean? I used to a long time ago. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I used Good. to a long time ago. It's difficult. So, Matthew, what's, difficult. what's writing at the wall? Ah, somebody just uh, asked again what the writing is on the wall. Back here, what we see here is a Japanese blessing. It's uh, actually from my ex-girlfriend. And it says, uh, <laughs> uh, it basically okay. is like, a, a, it's a Japanese Buddhist and Shinto blessing that blesses my house, right? Oh, sir, okay. you, you're brand new. How are you doing? Musa, where are you from, sir? Uh, Turkey. Actually, I'm from Turkey. I would like to join <laughs> your class because uh, your my bingo. We love Turkey. <laughs> A lot of my people. Turkey right. friends, okay. uh, <laughs> trying to uh, tell something about religion in Turkey, but uh, I think they didn't uh, speak enough uh, or uh, upset uh, religion angel from Turkey. 
and I would like to tell something about it. For example, please uh, go ahead. If if my turn, uh, uh, I can speak. <laughs> uh, please, it's your turn now. Uh, we uh, allow everybody to introduce themselves. I do okay. hear some music in the background. Let's be sure to turn that off and let's listen to Musa. So, Musa, tell us more about yourself and your faith. Um, uh, actually, I'm a student. This is my second university uh, about engineering, electrical engineering. Uh, normally, I live I live in Istanbul, uh, but I'm uh, right now I'm at another city. Uh, maybe you hear uh, before Antakya. It's Bandar to Surya. Maybe you hear something about Surya War and people coming to Turkey. And yes. This is the city. Uh, this is the city exactly. And yeah. in here, Hatay yeah. and Antakya, and uh, in the, this city, uh, four religions uh, live, four religion live together, and every people respect each other. For example, uh, just one hour ago, I was at outside in the city center uh, for uh, walking somewhere with friends, and you can see church, uh, Catholic church, Orthodox church. A Jewish uh, place for uh, religion, and of course uh, Moscow, and Catholic. they they are uh, they are living together. Any uh, trouble, any trouble? Did you know what mm -hmm. time? Yeah, um, so that they can. Uh, we also, would say they coexist. Mm -hmm. They coexist. Also in Istanbul, uh, this is my uh, born city. Uh, it was my born city, and. People uh, really, really relax. Uh, actually, they are all Muslim, but uh, anyone don't follow the rules. You know, in America, also, uh, I am going to English course. Uh, my uh, foreign teacher from America, California, uh, she was, she, she, is, she had been here nearly 25 years, mm -hmm. and. Uh, actually, we were talking about this subject in the class today, and I will start to join and uh, telling something to, uh, about my friends. It's not enough, and <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, and I, I want to say uh, more. Uh, people say you can't drink in alcohol Turkey. No, you can't drink even everything. It's uh, but people don't say to you why you are drinking. I don't believe that. And maybe uh, it's turn. Uh, it could be something because if every people uh, believes the uh, same God, but a different way, you know. Sure. Uh, all big fighting uh, happening between brothers. <laughs> <laughs> I I I describe uh, this subject to that way. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, you know, uh, my name is is Musa. Uh, it's that means Jewish prophet name. Also, uh, we have Jesus name, you know, and we have an, another uh, prophet or prophet Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was zero, people show how you can uh, call a person uh, Je Jesus. Why? Also, we accept a prophet to him. Mm -hmm. Why this is uh, very interesting? Then people show. And we had also uh, this. Yes, yes, we had actually brought this up earlier. Many people do not know uh, that in Islam, Jesus, even though he's not considered the Son of God, he is still considered a prophet. Um, and uh, I think it's also interesting you bring up somebody says, Oh, you cannot name your son Jesus because in Latin America, there are many, many people named Jesus. <laughs> yes, yeah, they're saying. How we can call Jesus come here, Jesus come here, but uh, we we think so it's normal because we accept all of them, you know. And actually, uh, uh, if you uh, if you want to know uh, something about uh, a place, a religion, culture, you you have to live there, and after you can understand. For example. Uh, uh, I'm saying that I was at Europe for internship uh, a while, and uh, but they are Christian, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Orthodox, maybe Catholic. Anyone, maybe uh, twenty percent going to church, like Turkey. Mm -hmm. We are all of Muslims, 
but maybe 10, maybe 20, maybe 30 uh, percent going to uh, Moscow, mm -hmm. like that. Sure. People just identify, I am Muslim, uh, and I am Catholic, I am Jewish, something like that. Oh, I think uh, I think uh, Musa brings yeah. up I think a very wonderful point here that uh, even though we're from different faiths, in many ways our faiths cover some of the same principles. And uh, Yasin asked a question in Verbling chat that Luis yeah. also uh, was interested about: is um, uh, did I choose my personal faith or did my parents? I think you asked this question because my sister and I are from different mm -hmm. religions. Yeah. Um, as some of you heard, my sister is Catholic and I'm Protestant. Uh, we actually, uh, for me, I chose my own faith. Um, I was raised in a household that is, uh, uh, how do you say, uh, non-religious. My right. family, yeah. they just don't, do not go to church or they do not practice yeah. a faith. Yeah. And uh, as I got older, um, as, uh, as I became older, for me, I felt, uh, this is just my personal feelings, but I felt a need to be closer to uh, my my creator, uh, my my God, uh, mm -hmm. and I did not I did not know what faith to choose, but uh, I I was very open and I searched very hard and eventually I found the right to voice for myself in uh, the uh, I'm a in the uh, Methodist Methodist Church. That's a that's a type of Protestant church. So I I was uh, I was uh, baptized as a Methodist. Mm -hmm. uh, Yasin asks Matthew, in your religion, is Jesus a God or is he the Son of God? That's a good question about Christianity because that is very confusing. I can try to explain if we are curious about where Christianity believes about I Jesus. Is, yeah, I think it's the same. Yes, that's right. Is uh, the correct answer, Yasin, would be uh, both. He's considered so, um, son of God, but also part of God. He's yeah. both. Uh, it's a little complicated, but basically, he's considered to be both a son of God and and part of God in the Christian faith. Uh, uh, we call it uh, that he's sort of the. Uh, version of God that lives on the earth, that lived on the earth. Yeah. So, uh, God the Son. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. presenting something about uh, from God. I'm sorry, Musa, could you say that again? Uh, about Jesus, he is uh, present or uh, tell something from God. It's, yes, uh, yes. Connect to each other to God, we can say. Yes, that's correct. Uh, that's correct. Very, that's a very uh, wonderful yeah. way to put it. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Uh, Do you want to uh, learn to Turk? I want to learn Turkish. Oh, possibly someday when we have a Turkish no, uh, verbling. Do you, do you want to learn Turk? Turk person, person of Turk. Uh, uh, yani, so uh, may I, may I ask Turkish to my friend for translate if uh, he can't say. Of course, go ahead. Do you want? Do you want to mean this place? Uh, you have to the, leave this place, okay? Turkey. Uh, uh, my friend, uh, is point. If you uh, come to Turkey and visit the Turkey, uh, you will uh, you will wandering around and you surprise uh, and you want to live in Turkey. <laughs> I think possibly. I How think possibly. I think <laughs> One of my exactly. actually. Actually, one of my very closest friends uh, lived in Ankara for two years, and she mm. loved it so much that she is still there right now. Actually, <laughs> I, I don't prefer Ankara because it uh, hasn't, has, hasn't got a <laughs> sea, you know? <laughs> I prefer seaside and it's sea. So, um, I think, uh, and some other people are making some good comparisons. Ahmed says that he believes that Jesus' role in Christianity is similar to some old Roman religions. I think you could make some comparison there. That is a very interesting point. Uh, El Bruz uh, says uh, that... Um, Matthew, uh, by yes. the way, uh, I, I would like to ask about Jesus, because I know in Christians believe that Jesus... Uh, first, I have to say that uh, we believe that Jesus not born uh, in the, how to say, uh, 
cloth. Uh, he he taken taken he, he had taken by God. We believe that, for example, Muslims. But I think uh, I remember something about uh, Christian. They they different other way. We can also talk this. Sure. Um, in fact, Helena is from Spain, and she asks a question that. Uh, um, I missed the question. Sorry. It's okay. Uh, it's related to actually your question, Musa. Uh, Helena's question is: What is the difference between Catholic and Protestant Christianity? That's actually a very, very good question, and I will ask my Catholic friends to please help me. I'm, uh, for the most part, for example, my sister is Catholic and I'm Protestant, so we know some difference. Um, for the Catholic faith, uh, we would say uh, salvation. Salvation, that means to be saved by uh, okay. God, to go to heaven, requires both uh, faith a belief in Jesus, and also to do uh, good works, to provide uh, good works, and to obey obey the church. So you have to do three major things. Um, with uh, Protestant Christianity, it's a little different. Uh, you only need, and this is very, very basic, because there are many types of Protestant Christianity, of course, and the Catholic uh, faith is also complicated. But uh, for us, for Protestants, it's just only the belief. You don't have to do any special work. Uh, you? You, don't, yeah, you, you don't have to to go to heaven, just only faith. So that's it's the very basic difference. But, but again, uh, it's such a complicated... I you said something. that you used to uh, believe in Quran and Islam, and now not anymore. Why? Oh, Yasin, uh, I've... Oh, Yasin, I, I visited a mosque. I still go sometimes, but uh, even though I'm not Muslim, I still pray at a mosque with my friends. Sure. Why not? Uh, for example, uh, may I give an example? In this, uh, today I had a situation like that. Go uh, ahead. For example, my English the foreign teacher, uh, Christian, uh, I think Catholic, uh, she, she was, uh, I would say, uh, a Nicholas. Uh, the, there is writing Allah, you know, uh, Arabic God name. Uh, we asked, the, are you Muslim? No, but uh, the God is not believed to you. <laughs> also, uh, I, I, it, no, bring, uh, I'll say, I forget the word English. Uh, it's okay. Uh, also, I have uh, Allah, you know, uh, sure. because uh, Allah means God. It is, Yes, yes, of course, uh, and of course, Muslim says Allah, uh, the English person, English uh, speaking person say God, and he was, I would say, moving necklace and Allah, Allah, uh, I would say, um, I forget the word, anyway, for everyone, you know, uh, if we, uh, I would say, we met uh, around humanity, and every problem solved, will solve. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Uh, also, <coughs> a difference about uh, Catholic and Orthodox, when they go to church, Orthodox people uh, standing up, and I know Catholic people uh, sit down. It is right? Mm. That, yes, I believe that is correct. Um, and uh, I also want to take some time to answer some questions we had here in ver the Verbling chat, if that's all right. Uh, Yasin asked me uh, if I still go to a mosque sometimes with my friends, and the answer is yes. Uh, even though I'm a Christian, some of my closest friends here in America are Muslim, and I think it is very important because they are, you know, they're my brothers. Uh, we are the same country, so sometimes I... I still attend uh, mosque service with them. Uh, if the first time I actually, don't laugh at me, Yasin, I made a deep mistake. Do you know the prayer carpet? The carpet you pray yeah. on? Yeah. I, I, the, uh, wrong direction. Yes, the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, and then uh, Mahmood asks, uh, Matthew, you've lived in Korea. What is their religion? Koreans have two major religions. They are 50% of Koreans are Christian, and then most of the other 50% are 
Buddhist. Buddhist. Or Buddhist. Buddhist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Explain Buddhism. us Buddhist. I see, we, I, see, I see we have some new people. Covadonga Rodriguez, how are you, ma'am? Uh, uh, hello. Hi. I'm Miguel. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Uh, I'm fine. I'm from Spain and Spain is Catholic, of course. Ah, of course. It's wonderful to have you. I love that uh, peninsulare accent of yours. It's very <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Thanks. Española. Española. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> I like it because uh, you use you, it's such a romantic accent because, of course, we Texas people use Mexican Spanish, so we say corazón, but Spain says corazón. <laughs> Señorita. Mm -hmm. It's so wonderful. Oh, that, that is very Thanks. wonderful. Uh, so I'm very happy. Uh, that uh, we've had, a, I think, a very good and mature discussion so far. I, I think this is very common in our verbaling uh, lessons yeah. that we are able to really talk about serious issues without uh, uh, showing any disrespect. And um, some people are asking how you join the class. Uh, the class is a maximum of nine students, but you can continue to watch in the verbaling chat as much as you wish. Uh, so we're just finishing talking about some similarities and differences between Islam and Christianity and um, yeah. our Catholic friends from Latin America and Spain and from Eastern Europe, Poland, have been so wonderful as well as our Turkish and Syrian friends and uh, I really think that this has been a wonderful lesson so far and of course Thankfully, you've been so kind to me, your Protestant American uh, teacher. I think we have a perfect balance here. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. Can you tell us about yeah, the main? The main is oh. we need to we need to respect with each other. Of well, course, mm -hmm. that's right. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Mahmoud asks, "Can I explain a little about Buddhism?" Yes, I can if you would like me to. Um, yes, I uh, I practiced Buddhism a little when I was in Japan and also Korea and the center, central tenant, the basic law of Buddhism is that life is suffering, that uh, life is very painful and it hurts mm -hmm. and the best thing to do is uh, to uh, understand to achieve enlightenment or to grow, you need to uh, dis disconnect from the rest of the world. You need to take your pain and suffering and just disconnect from the mortal earth, the regular earth, and focus only on your spiritual development. It's a very beautiful religion and it focuses so deeply on the uh, development of a person's moral beliefs and their faith and their <clears throat> discipline. And I was very attracted to it actually. I think it's a beautiful faith. Mm -hmm. So, as uh, uh, What about, uh, as of say, uh, uh, you know, at Biblo, uh, I don't know, they put in something and they're trying to them, I don't know. Can you tell us about something? In Could you repeat that, uh, Musa? Uh, you know, Buddhist, uh, uh, Buddhist people uh, have a biblo, and they are putting something uh, a shape uh, uh, like a human shape. Mm -hmm. uh, they are trying to them. Uh, if you know something about it, can you uh, tell us? Uh, sure, yes. Actually, that's related to what's called uh, Dharma or Dharmas. Dharma. Dharma. It's basically it's a form of meditation. Meditation. Mm -hmm. That's where they are trying to focus their mind and their soul onto just considering and thinking oh. about spiritual issues. Actually, they don't believe the, uh, this shape just for focusing. Yes, remember, you have to remember something unique about Buddhism. In Buddhism, it is one of the only religions where there is no specific god. Buddha, they, they do not view Buddha as a god. They view him as kind of a prophet. They view him as a teacher. 
So in Buddhism, actually, it's possible to believe in many different deities or gods. <laughs> All right, and uh, okay. you view Buddha as just a role model and a teacher. Isn't that interesting? The master. Yes, yeah, like a master. Isn't it fantastic? What? I think we can this say is that. Oh, sorry. oh, let's go ahead and let our let, let's go ahead and let Miss Rodriguez have a spe uh, speak, please. Go ahead, ma'am. Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> but, yeah, I, I can I can say that Buddhism is a, a way to live life. That's right. It's a lifestyle. I think is yeah. the best way to say. It's a good lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. It's a good lifestyle. Mm -hmm. I think so. I, I agree. I think I it's think, think I think it's difficult. It's difficult. Yes. You restrict. You, 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 you need to. You need to restrict a lot of things. For example, the, techn the technology, the the alcohol. Uh, I don't know. Some some other other things. But I think Not they good. don't restrict. They only do not need it. So it's a different way to see life. Okay. You don't need a computer to be happy and feel good. Sorry. You have. You know, I don't know how to say it, but I think that it is not restrictive. It's yes, it's, it's a like it's, it's a it's a type of lifestyle uh, in peace, more more peace, more. Yeah, more no. Okay, okay. Morat, you said you would need you would like to speak. Could you go, uh, sir? Are you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, there you are, sir. What uh, what is your opinion on uh, sort of what we're discussing a little bit about Buddhism? Uh, what is your opinion about this lifestyle? Okay, my opinion is uh, a little bit different because I think uh, we 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 all mortals, you know. And sure. uh, we will we will die when the time come comes. Okay, and uh, we need to believe in something, and we believe, but uh, we don't know. Maybe we want to put some meaning to the life. Okay, mm. maybe this uh, uh, you know what what's this necessary? This is necessary to to live. Mm -hmm. I think okay, that's a very good yes. There is uh, there is Sufism in Islam. Do you know Sufism? Uh, yes, Sufism. Uh, could yes, you please Sufism, explain it to the, everybody? Sufism uh, the, says that uh, there is only God. Mm -hmm. There is nothing more. Only God. We all uh, people and everything that you see around you, uh, the universe, everything. They are parts of the God. It's like a Christian, Christianism, Catholic, sorry, Catholic. Yeah, similar. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know that if there is and I think Christianity, I don't know. Maybe there is Kabbalah in Jewism, but I don't, I uh, mm -hmm. haven't heard about any Sufism in Christianity. I don't know. Yes, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. Musa has a good point here, guys. We could also say for many people, whether you believe in a religion or you don't believe in a religion, there is a very important need for religion, and many, and perhaps for people, we have to believe in something so that we feel safe and we can understand the world. It doesn't mean that we're right or wrong, but there is maybe a maybe a psychological psychological need to believe in something. I think, uh, I, Murad, I think you bring up a very important fact here that that maybe humans, as humans, we need to believe in something more powerful. Yes, yes. yes. we are, we are yeah. searching uh, life meaning and we have to believe something. Mm -hmm. Guys, I want to just co uh, comment that I'm so proud of this class. We've really, I was, I have to be honest, I was a little nervous to teach or to lead a religion class today, but yeah. you've brought so no, many different opinions. Teacher, um, teach uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, is Buddhist uh, believe in the afterlife, like Christians and Muslims? Uh, yeah, they think. believe that yes, they believe that when you achieve enlightenment or the highest level of thinking and, and yeah. existence, that you move on to a kind of a heaven or a, a higher plane. 
higher Matthew, existence. I have a question. Yeah. Why would this burn yes. the dead body? Oh, why do they burn it? Yeah. Ah, because for them, as you know, Christians and, and Muslims, we preserve the body for religious reasons. Many of us yeah. do, but for Buddhists, they consider the body is just uh, just uh, dust. And it's not so important when the person passes away. So for them, it's perfectly acceptable to uh, burn and cremate the body. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, isn't that, I think it's very interesting, but actually many Christians also burn our bodies now. Well, guys, I think this has been a fantastic uh, class. Um, everybody has been very respectful. Uh, I liked the atmosphere here. I think our Muslim friends and our, our Christian friends our, and our non-believers have been very, uh, very helpful. I love the verbling chat. Jessica, Gokhan, Merve, I saw that you've been very, very uh, active in the verbling chat. I wish I, uh, of course, I was trying yeah. to be as active as I could with you as well. Uh, this has been absolutely wonderful, and uh, I want to just really compliment everybody for a, a really a really wonderful work today. Uh, that was that was this has been Thanks. an excellent uh, English practice and discussion. Thank I do want you. to let everybody know. Uh, in about an hour, we'll be having another class. It's going to be yeah. an expressions course, so please uh, be ready. Until then, I will see everybody in one hour. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. No problem. Thank you. See you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.